Well, good morning, everybody. How y'all doing today? <clears throat> well, the wind has died down, thank God. So that's nice. It's still minus 41 degrees out here. Like we've got about a 10, maybe 15K wind. But that's nothing compared to what we did have. And old Binford out there, CP just let him out. Uh, we had the door shut here. We just let the boys out of the barn. He's pawing at the freaking door, the son of a bitch. Because those two yo-yos out there tend to not let him eat much. And he's just a big suck. He wants to be in the barn where it's nice and warm. Mind you, I can't say I blame him, but anyways. <laughs> no water issues here this morning. All the water bowls are working fine. Yesterday morning, I didn't make a video for you guys yesterday with that wind blowing at 50 and like minus friggin 47 or whatever the hell it was. I wasn't holding a camera out. Sorry about that, but that's just the way she goes. That far water bowl over there, it was thawed out underneath and uh, everything, but the valve or the float, that's inside that little lid, because that bowl is exactly the same as this one. It's inside that lid. The friggin' float froze to the lid. So then we didn't have no water, and I had to fight with taking him all apart and getting him working. But this morning, there's water in it, but CP took the tarp off it, so did do you know, is the valve float stuck? No, it's good. It's good? Okay. But anyway, I made, I told a couple people I was going to show a video on how we thaw out our frozen water lines. And lots of you, I'm sure, are subscribed to them. But uh, with uh, a girl and her cows, Stephanie and Bruce, I don't know their last name. They're out in, I believe, northern BC. I know they're in northern northern part of BC, British Columbia, Canada. So that's a girl and her cows. You guys go check her out. If you're not subscribed, go, go check her out and subscribe to her channel. Now, they had a hell of an idea. They made a steamer, and I really like the way that thing worked. But this is how I do it. So it's similar but just slightly different. Back you up here a little bit. Okay, so there you got her. You see that little red funnel taped to the top of this copper line? This is quarter inch or three eighths inch OD copper line. And it is like quarter inch ID. <laughs> You can see that right there. So that's what it looks like. It's a little bit crooked here and there. But anyway, the idea is, I'll go back to the water bowl here in a second. Once I put this away. There we go. So all of our water bowls are basically, they're either Edwards or their wheat heart, which is Edwards. This is an Edwards. That one over there is an Edwards. The one in our calving corral where those cows are, it's a wheat heart, but it's made by Edwards. And the one behind the shop is also an Edwards. On all of these bowls, this top, you can, it'll lift, so you can, uh, uh, drain it out clean it out so on and so forth there's also a door on the side on that one over there it's a newer model this one has a has a door on the side also but it's down here behind the ice but anyway i have a shut off valve underneath here with every one and it's half inch id or three quarter inch od valve so I 
shut the valve off if the water line happens to freeze going into the ground what I do is I shut the valve open the friggin take the rubber line that goes from the valve to the float assembly up here take that off at the valve now I open my line and all I need is some boiled water maybe like a gallon of boiled water not copper lines eight feet long so it'll go all the way to the very bottom and as you start heating putting you just pour hot water down into the funnel and it'll work its way down you just work it up and down up and down and before long usually takes i don't know depends on how bad it is frozen but it i've had it where it took me basically half hour to 45 minutes and almost two gallons of boiled water but then on on average it'll only take eh, 20 minutes at the most start to finish and anywhere from three quarters to a gallon of boiled water uh, so and it works pretty good when the water starts going it shoots out the top you pull your line hit your valve to shut it off reconnect the hose and you're good to go and cb's just a giving her this morning say what Before I let the girls out. do i want to do what Feed far crawl. i don't have mccormick running Big Blue is running, and we got the shredder going on him. Uh, we're going to shred a bale out here this morning for the cows in the pasture. And these two girls are just going to go in front of the barn. I let them out through Wyatt's pen, babe, yesterday. So I'll just chase them right through. Okay. They had their grain here this morning. Come on, girl. Give her a shoe. Give her a shoe. We did this yesterday, and this way we're not hauling water for them. They can go drink outside in front of the main barn here. And they get a little bit of hay outside. And they came in through the front door. Just shook a pail and they came in pretty good. But anyway, that's how we use a copper line and hot water to thaw out water lines. So it's off to the races and we'll do some more feeding here. We'll talk to you guys later. Alrighty guys. So they're just obviously in the shop. Cutting steel, cope ends offsets for more crowd panels little red is running pto is on warming up that tranny um so yeah that's what we're doing here now and see big blue right there we've got a big old tarp covering him and that's helping uh him with starting in the in the mornings and whatnot when we need them but yeah we're cutting copens here for uh 20 foot freestanding crowd panels Actually, they'll be like 21 feet, and I'll explain all that to you guys um, a little bit more as we get into building these, uh, actually building these crawl panels. So right now I got, with the one that we just cut, it's not done yet, but because I got to make a cross cut on this end right here. See how these are? So I got to take a cross cut across and that'll tip them and that way they'll look like that so but with this one that's for another two more crowd panels and two over there so that'll be four crowd panels and i should just about get yeah i'll get one more piece out of this piece of pipe right here but i won't get two which is fine, I can use the tail end of it for something else. So, anyways, I'll continue on cutting here 
things are working a little bit slow in here because my saw this hydraulic cylinder he's really stiff the oil in him is really fucking stiff so it's cutting really slow but whatever we'll get stuff cut talk to you guys in a bit Alrighty guys, well we got a few pieces of steel cut and then CP came to the shop and took me away from my job. Yeah, you did it. It's I'll your fault. It. You took me away from my job. You're okay. We took a round bale, a whole bale. <laughs> I did to hell with it. We'll just take a whole friggin' bale out to her babies. You know who her babies are? Her deer and her moose. Oh, it's so cold. It's so cold. They're going to die. Uh, I have to agree with her. They might die. But it is cold. So we took them a full uh, green feed bale. That oat bale. So, anyway, we're going to... We got these two cows that are in front, front of our main barn. I want to get them the hell out of there. Uh, move them. And then I'm I got some feeding to do down here. And oh, by the way, guys, I got something to show you. And some of you might laugh, and they're gonna bug me. And some of you are going, shit happens. But I'll show you that when I get there. Talk to you in a bit. Alrighty. So see that that fence line feed area is all cleaned out. So yesterday, I bedded that crowl right there, these girls, right, and I bedded the bulls, but when you're going in and out of the bulls to make this turn, I'll back up more so you guys can see, she's kind of a tight turn, and uh, to make that turn, you usually got to have your bucket way the hell up in the air, so when I came out, I had my freaking hood on and everything, and I thought I had my loader all the way up. Well, it wasn't all the way up, and I clicked that fucking post, and I broke it. So basically, right now, the two gates that hang off that post is what's holding the some bitch up, and that's how it's gonna have to stay until summer time. God damn it! Yes, I did it. I freaking smoked that post, and I broke him off. So you guys can all leave me your freaking. Uh, sarcastic comments on how much of a dumbass I am for not paying attention to my job. And it was colder than hell. I had my hood on. I wanted to get the hell out of there as fast as I could. So see, because CP was watching the gate so the bulls don't get out. And yeah, it was just a bad situation yesterday. And uh, that's what happened. Anyways. So now here we are. We're Gonna get uh, Crowl 2 all fed up. And then I don't have to worry about feeding them tomorrow, right? So, okay, guys, we'll talk to you later. Alrighty, so there, everybody's fed up again. Um, so, anyway, with this friggin' post, it's not the end of the world because pretty much that whole fence line right there. There's like freaking three posts when we had that bad windstorm that busted off. And the only reason that thing is standing right now is because we got one of our big crowd panels, them 24 foot long ones, on the other side of those that crowd. And the posts are tied because the post broke off right at ground level. So I tied the posts to that crowd panel, and that's what's holding that crowd up at this point. So until summer comes when we can replace all those posts and a bunch of the slabs are old and rotten and bullshit like that. So we'll just have to spend some money and get some new slabs and so on and so forth and get them on there, right? And that's when I'll replace that post. So it's not the end of the world. CP didn't want like that post anyway. She wanted me to cut it off or replace it a long time ago and I never did do it. Well, now I have to. Oh, fun, fun. Anyway, let's get the hell out of here. And we'll uh, we'll be back at the barn here because this is not the end of our maturing. I got to close up these gates 
and then let the horses to the front of the barn here so they can drink before we put them away for the evening so okay we'll talk to you guys later oh hey there guys how the heck you doing now oh boy just got in the house it's still freaking cold out there like minus 45 46 seven o'clock in the evening basic not quite dark but getting close to being dark There, there's CP. Hi. I'll check my hair out. You need to put some lights on in this place. Yeah, no, I like <laughs> it in the dark. Uh, the daughter came over and grabbed some beef from us. And uh, in exchange for a couple of chickens, which was nice. Ooh, cheeks are still cold. Um, got the horses in, got the water bowls all covered up. Got some steel cut, which was good. Cows are all fed up and bedded down again. It's like a never ending story here with this cold weather. Feed, bed, feed, bed every day. Mm, so, um, oh, Jesus. And here's one for you. Any environmentalists out there? Huh? Huh? Hmm? How are you guys making out in this cold weather with this, uh, don't burn no fossil fuel type stuff. Huh? I wonder how you're all doing. Somebody please leave a comment. I'm curious to know. CP is thinking you're going to start shit, Brennan. You're going to start you, shit. You're such a troublemaker. I'm a troublemaker? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, well, I want to know how they're doing it. How are they staying warm? I know my propane furnace is working just fine. You turn the switch on the thermostat on into the on position uh-huh mm -hmm. but how's the environmental people that and the climate activist people that say we got to stop burning fossil fuels like propane diesel fuel gas oil how are they keeping their home warm so they don't freeze their batoonie off well that's what i want to know I don't do politics on this. You don't do politics on, on this. this. <laughs> I'm not doing politics. I'm asking a That's question. the difference between you and I. You're a shit disturber. <laughs> I like to stay away from shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we know Unless it's cow shit. Uh-huh, sure, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I've seen you fork shit. I'm just bugging you. <laughs> anyway, this, guys. This is how I stay warm. This is, oh. That's how CP stays warm. Oh, yeah. One of those tart thingies are mine. What are you talking about? There's two. One for you, one for me. I know who brought them here. Sabrina's a sweetie <laughs> when it comes to baking. She made sure there was two in there. One for you, one for me. Not like last time. Three for you, none for me. <laughs> anyway, guys, with that, you know what to do. Give us the old thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Uh, last I checked, we're sitting like 460 or something like that. So uh, let's get those numbers up there, guys. Come on, bring it on, bring it on, dang it. And until then, until tomorrow, fun, fun, fun. Let's stay warm. Stay warm and let's get her done. Catch you guys later.